This is a feature that was added in 12.2. So if you're coming from 11.2, you might not have encountered it. If you've been on 12.2 or 18C, it's been running by default, and you may not have even known about it, but it's there. You might want to give it a try because it can give you some good information about uh, whether you've got statistics locked, how you're gathering them, whether you should be doing some things differently or somehow calibrating your maintenance jobs. However, it does have a side effect that it stores data in your SysOx table space. And sometimes that data can be quite expansive. So what, the, what you might want to do, especially if you're running 12.2 already and didn't realize that the advisor has been running every night, is you could query the, uh, the V$ SysOx occupants view to see how much space it's using, and you, it will really lay it out. You can find out whether it's using uh, megabytes, hundreds of meg, or even in our case, gigabytes of data inside your SysOx table space. Now, SysOx is one of those things that just grows and grows. There's no way to shrink your SysOx table space, but if you've got this advisor data there and you don't really need it, you could at least free up space within SysOx for other uses like incremental statistics, AWR snapshots. But to do that, it's really a two-step process. The first thing you would do is disable the automatic statistics advisor job. In 21C, you can disable the auto task. That's a single command, very easy. It's not so easy in 19. Now you could request a backport of this bug number, put it on your system and then disable it just as you do in 21. I don't really recommend that because that backport, it's not part of the release updates. And that means that with every successive release update, you might need to get a new version of the patch, which is kind of a pain. There is a workaround of how you can do that, which is to simply set the advisor interval to be that maximum 2 billion plus seconds between running. And that means that it's really not going to run again in your lifetime. Now, once we've disabled it, that does not delete the advisor information from your SysOx table space. If you want to do that, if you want to purge those records from SysOx and give yourself some free space for other things to use, then you could refer to these two MOS notes about how to purge those records.